It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Three, two, one, go. Right, so here we go, Bison Hill Climb. An absolute classic. Um, this is in Bedfordshire, there's like 30,000 people have done it or something crazy. Um, and it's one kilometer, eight percent. And so this is my first hill climb of the season. I was very excited, I've been doing some good training recently. So it's about two and a half minutes, three minute effort. So I wanted to basically hold 500 watts for the first part and just see how I, I could go on. So it's, it's not too steep at the beginning, as you can see, you know, decent 6%, but nothing too crazy. So, you know, I, I settled into my rhythm about 500 watts, 480, 500 watts, and I was feeling pretty comfortable at this moment in time. You know, I was hurting. Um, my heart rate is wrong, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I can't do 500 watts at 142 beats per minute. But anyway, you can sort of see the speed difference, 10% 10, 10 uh, 20 k's an hour, so we'll zoom past this guy. At this point in time, life was pretty good. I was, I was feeling, you know, like the effort was coming. I hadn't set off too hard, which is often what you do. On your first hill climb of the season because you're a bit you either get too excited um so i was you know i was feeling pretty confident we're about a minute in now and I, you know i think i held 510 for the first minute so you know that's decent power and i was just looking to hold it on but as you may have already know from the beginning of this video it all ended up in a bit of a disaster as soon as i overtook this young lad on the left so this young lad is doing as good effort on a sun on a saturday morning as you do i go overtaking him like here we go boys you can see this is where it really starts to ramp up and then oh yeah my pedal unclips i then have to try and clip back in and then start at 9k an hour in a completely wrong gear you can see my case is 30. this lost me i looked on strava about six seconds i would have been on for about a 240 two, no, no no yeah about a 240 on the segment and instead i got about 252 so i'd say altogether it probably so, like lost me about 10 seconds can I complain? Not really, because my pedals are quite bad. My cleats are also bad. So it's just, you know, a lesson for the future. I was angry in the moment, but not really at this present time. I'm just accept it. But anyway, 11%, 20Ks an hour, and I just never really got back into it. It sort of phased my mind. And even this part, I thought I'd clip back in, but my foot actually wasn't in. So you'll see, as soon as I crest this top part, like here I'm doing like 400 watts, where I should be doing like 450, 500. This car also decides that it's a good time to stop when I'm racing. It's like, come on, mate. Like, you, what are you doing? And anyway, this part, you can see my watts go massively down my cadence drops there to 60 because I have to suddenly clip back in and I'm like right boys just let's go to the end so I rode this climb last week with Ash and like I realized it was definitely a big ring climb and I um because of this flat section and you know before that I was going fine um but anyway it's part of parcel hill climbs make sure your bike's in good condition which it was obviously not um but yeah I, I you know I didn't finish in a terrible time I think I finished uh, official time was 255 I think I finished about 30th out of 80 people. So, you know, it's not, not dreadful, but not what I was expecting from the day. And uh, at the end, I wasn't really completely dead because I had that point where I was sort of resting, couldn't really get back into it. And I sort of, not lost motivation, but it's just really hard to push yourself to the absolute max. So Bison Hill, it does actually finish sort of on a slight downhill. And um, yeah, that is Bison Hill Climb just here. So cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this quick vid. Um, and I'll leave my Strava link below uh, and chuck me a follow. Cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next one.